pretty normal subway just like anyone in, anywhere in the world and it was in really good shape too I mean the, their subway is new relatively new and you know it's, it's really nice so let's deal with one of these machines and I'm assuming already that you would have gotten a card the easiest way to get a card is to go to this booth and ask for a card and maybe hand them like five bucks and say put five dollars on the card so now you have a card and it's been preloaded with five dollars from this point on you're going to go to one of these machines and you're going to recharge it reload it every time you know that you it gets low and you want more on it okay so I'm going to take you through this and it, it's really easy to do it's actually super simple to do except in the beginning <laughs> it's a little weird because you know the words are different okay it's in Spanish unless you really know Spanish well you know, and you know how the machines work, you, you know, just like me here having a hard time. Not really a hard time, but kind of like, okay, what's the deal here? So, you know, and then somebody tried to help and the usual stuff. Again, okay? you know, trying to put five bucks on it, and this person has helped me. So, I'm going to take you through this, and we're going to go real slow. I'm going to stop the video at times, put English on the screen. There's the card, and that particular one has got five bucks on it. Okay, so let's watch this lady first. She puts her card in and then she's hitting moneda, which is coins. So I kept thinking it was money, but then I was like, no, no, okay, that actually means coins. And she's moving, you know, through this pretty fast and you probably missed all of that, right? Okay, so let's do it slower. Coins go here, dollar bills go there. So if you want to put a coin in, if that's what you choose, you would put it up on top. If you have a dollar bill of different denominations, I think they go up to 20s, if I recall. You know, ones, fives, tens, 20s. I don't think they, I don't remember being 50s on there, but that's pretty much what it is. So let's move on now. Okay, now let's watch him again. Now he's putting a coin in, and just unfortunately for this guy, like even locals have problem his coin didn't work he's got some sort of a different coin or doesn't recognize it and he's gonna move on okay my turn take the card and put it into the card slot the card slots pretty obvious because it's just like putting in a credit card so this is the screen that you're going to get Ricarda carga saldo activation on one side which is basically electronically activating the card or uh, you know been a benefit activation I don't even know what that is but the only ones that you're going to be concerned about is recarga or saldo which is the balance or if you want to add money to the card so you're going to be hitting the recarga button which is adding money to the card you want to recharge it boom hit that and now it's giving you two other options and the options that it's giving you is going to be do you want bills or do you want coins Now, I'm trying to put a bill in here, but I actually hit the coin thing, or I should be putting coins in. So I'm just showing you the mistake, even though this is you know, making the video longer, I could just whip through it, but I'm showing you my mistake so that you remember it, okay? There's the coin, and it goes, and it's registering that I put a dollar in. And then it's moving on to, pretty quickly to... Like you got to be kind of faster with the coins, but it's moving on to what would be this. It's telling me what I just did. It, it immediately jumped to the card balance and what I was adding, which was a dollar, and then the new balance on the card. So if you're going to put in three or four coins, I would do them like bing, 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 do them pretty quick because otherwise, if you wait, if you're too slow, this thing is going to come up and then you got to start all over again to, to try to keep adding stuff. So the next thing you need to do is to, do you want a receipt or no receipt? You want to print a receipt or you want no receipt? That's pretty much it, which I was showing you on the last screen, but it, it pops up again. And that's it. That's all there is to it.